everyone. This isn't greasy hair. This is clean hair that I put too much coconut oil in uh, after washing. So, but you know, I have to wash it out. Here's dog. She just trumped when she jumped up on the bed. So that's, oof. Um, so I'm completely and totally and utterly off Esitalopro and we'll never go back on it again and that's after ten and a half years of taking it well I took it for ten years solidly and then I've just taken it for six months again um, so I've got really horrendous physical side effects today um, brain zaps well the full electro shock zaps all throughout my every extremity uh, aching and stuff um, and I've been trying to get a hold of um, my psychiatrist to find out when I'm supposed to halve the metazapine because I couldn't remember if it was the first Friday after stopping Estelopram or the following one anyway I rang the GP well I rang psych first his medical secretary wasn't in so she couldn't tell me she's on annual leave uh dr joe was in clinic all the other doctors were in clinic and then it started getting later and later so i thought oh, i'll ring my gp because they'll have a copy of the letter laying out the plan so point one was to wean from escitalopram by five a week until i'm on nothing done tick uh point two to have metazapine to uh, 15 from 30 um, point three was to be like assessed by him on the 28th so points two and three I was like what so point two I couldn't remember whether it was today Friday or next Friday anyway having spoken to a secretary not a medical secretary just a, a, a general clerical assistant with experience of <coughs> interpreting these sorts of things. Shut up, Calla. And um, my GP... Oh, there you go. Hi, I am found you. And my GP secretary, we've deduced that it means tonight I have the metazapine. Uh, point three was that I was to be seen or reviewed on the 28th of October... And that sent me into a bit of a spin because my appointment's for the 26th. So I had to ring them back again. And she was like, oh no, that that's just like a guideline date. But his secretary managed to get you in on the 26th rather than the 28th. If I've said any dates wrong in this, by the way, it's because I'm on so much diazepam now. That I've got absolutely no short time in memory. So apologies for that. So um, tonight I start... Oh God, I'm Look how greasy that looks. I barely put any coconut oil in it last night. Look at it. It's just, it's dry. It's just, look at that. It's like an oil slick. I'm going to have to rewash it. In fact, I might leave it in for a little bit just to let it moisturise the hair a little. Terrible. Um, so, there's that. Um... I just rang, I just rang one five seven one on the house phone, and there were like six messages. Some of them automated, and some of them bitch woman, all chasing me, either me or Mark for money. Um, we've sent, I've sent them letters explaining our situation again and again and again. I fill out the income and expenditure forms for them. Oh, you're paying um, such a company two pounds more than you've offered us. What do you want me to magic two pounds extra out of the air so that I can pay you the same? I'm paying you something legally. I have to make you an offer. Legally, I am allowed to offer you a pound, and even if I were to offer them like I don't know twenty quid a month, I couldn't pay it. So what what's the point what's the point? Um I applied to the United Utilities Fund for help with the uh, our water bill 
and I got the forms back and I filled them in. And now I'm waiting for uh, DWP to get back to me with proof of the type of benefit we receive and the amount because my bank statement doesn't isn't good enough because it doesn't also show any money going into Mark's. Now Mark doesn't have any money going into his account because we get paid into mine. Um, so it's e just easier if we get this letter off DWP and I wrote to them last week for it and I haven't got it yet. I'm still waiting for a medical exemption form. Mark desperately needs new glasses. The arm's hanging off. Um, I need to go and get my eyes tested again. I've had these. I really like them. I especially like the arms. Um, but they're just not strong enough for me anymore. I'm like that all the time. Um, so I need to get some new a new prescription. I know it'll have worsened. Um, and I also, at the same time, need to... In fact, I need to do that just straight after I finish filming this video. I need to get... Uh, the, a code because I'm diabetic to give to the optician so that I can have um, a free is it retinopathy uh, because obviously retinas are one of the things that suffer when you're diabetic um, in fact both of my parents have had detached retinas in the last five years and I've had to have them operated on it's really strange because it's not even something that's that uh, common among like 50 odd year olds. So that's weird. So oh, look at the state that I tried to um, put this balm stuff on it that is like meant to heal scars and stuff. I'm not bothered about being having a scarred face. It's like the least of my worries at the moment. My worries at the moment are the fact that we've got like seven pound something in the bank and that um six of it is coming out on monday to pay becco to insure one of our items possibly the washing machine possibly yeah the washing machine um and it's 10 payments of six pounds and i thought it was worth it because Last time a washing machine broke, it took us the best part of a year to save up £150 to buy one. Anyway, what I'm basically saying is hire, buyer. Um, I got up at 10 to have my metazapine. It felt, uh, my, metazapine, my diazepam, it felt so weird not taking escitalopram. Uh, I've still got some left, like old tw an old 20 pack, so I'm going to flush them. Um, in fact I'm not going to flush them just yet what I'm going to do is keep them for three days just in case I end up getting all like suicide or something and then I can like halve one and start taking them again and then the plan would have to change obviously but at least I've got the tablets there so I think that would probably be the most prudent choice um, yeah this is me completely without makeup that's not often... I've got poor, poor balm on my lips, um, but absolutely no makeup, not even eyebrows filled in. And I got something, I got some, um, when I was waiting for my medica medication the other day in Superdrug, I thought, oh, well, I really desperately wanted to try um, a highlighter, so I'll put it all there One of the, from a tester. I'm not bothered about using testers on my face, skin, just not eyes and mouth. And I forgot I'd done it and I had it all in my fingers and I got it in my eye and since then Yeah, it's not a good look, is it? Um and a, re a really good bath yesterday night. Well I think it was actually one in the morning. Uh, I hadn't had one for two weeks. Which to I don't know, you normal people will be totally grotesque. Um I'm washed daily. I brush my teeth, otherwise you know, I know they're, they're stained, but otherwise they'd be rotten. I wash them twice. I do them twice a day. I wash them. I brush them twice a day. But I had a proper bath or hair wash last night because it was 13 days. In fact, it was just, it just crept onto the 14th day of not doing it. And although it doesn't actually help me feel any better mentally, 
at least I'm mentally ill and clean, which is better than being mentally ill and offensively dirty. Um, not that I smell or anything. It's just, I don't know. Like, I find the more that I wash certain areas, the more it highlights the bits that still feel absolutely filthy. Um, yeah, so another one of my rambling 20-minute long, 20 minute long videos when it could have been succinctly put into a Facebook post that would have gone largely ignored, I imagine. But never mind. Um, at least I've got someone to talk to. Uh, I've just taken my, well, recently taken my 4pm diazepam um, and I'm going to get some breakfast, which, yes, I know sounds bizarre. Um, I really, really, really need, no, I was going to say something then and I'm not going to say it. Because some of you know where I live and I'll end up with a collection basket outside my door. Okay. Uh, right. Take care, everyone. I hope you're all doing well. If you're not, feel free to message me privately. We can have a chat. I'm always up for a chat, especially if it's about mental health. As long as you don't mind me, then if you sell me something, as long as you don't mind me, then go in. Well, here's a bit of my mental health. I think like sharing vulnerability really helps. Um, I think that's one thing I struggle with in therapy is that you're telling them everything and they're just going, yeah, yeah. Because that's not how conversation works, but you need to realise that it's not a conversation you're having, it's therapy. So anyway, if any of you ever need to chat about anything, and I mean absolutely anything, I promise you, it will be 100% Okay, take care and wish me luck weaning off metazapine. See ya.